Good morning, loves. Good morning. Mwah. Good to see you today and every day, my loves, we meet together. Oh, did we have so much fun making these guys. Miss Christina Bunny and I had so much fun making these animals. And yesterday, in yesterday's story time, we talked about an amazing, our world's amazing array of animals. But not only our amazing array of animals, but we talked about endangered animals and how we can be superheroes of our world and the ways in which we can do that. Because we have, we may be little, remember, but we have big hearts, my loves. And that makes us bigger than the biggest skyscraper in the world. So these are some, Miss Mel and Christina Bunny wanted me to remind you of some of these amazing animals we made. One of the things we talked about, how to help our world reduce, reuse, recycle. And this project we did yesterday was all about reduce, reuse, recycle. And we made an elephant and a giraffe. Wait, I'm going to kiss the giraffe. <laughs> and we had so much fun with these, Christina Bunny and I, and I hope you did too. Now remember the links to how to make these and a lot of the links we shared yesterday in our video yesterday. So check them out. And Christina, you love, which one do you love the best? Oh, slow mo hug! Whoa! <laughs> she did a slow mo hug. Remember, slow mo hug your parents. Slow mo hug your grown ups. Give them a big hug. <laughs> Let's see that slow mo again. <laughs> oh, my love. So, we're going to put our animals away and say goodbye. And they were amazing. And I hope you got a chance to make them with some of the cardboard you're getting from your packages, which is so totally awesome. Now, our book today is going to talk more about some of our amazing animals in our world. It's called Hello, Hello by Brendan Wenzel. <clears throat> and Brendan Wenzel did this beautiful book. He not only wrote this book, but he illustrated this book. He's the artist of this book. And we're going to see some animals you may have seen before or you may know a lot of cool facts about, or maybe there's some animals that you've never seen before, and they're all different in their own way. But you know what? They share a commonality amongst them. They, they share the commonness of love and heart, and you know what? How, even though some of us may be small or big or different in our own way, we all share the same love for one another, my loves. So you know what? Let's check out Hello, Hello, and I'm gonna show you a little something special. I want you, if you see any animals in here that are your favorites, or if you don't see, please list your favorite animal in our comment section today. Miss Mel and Christina Bunny want to hear what your favorite animal is. So if you can list that in our comments today, that would be super cool. My favorite animal I'm going to share it with you today, and I know I've shared it with you many a times, is... Now, I got, Ms. Bell got a chance to talk to our wonderful author and illustrator, Brendan Wenzel, and he was so sweet and thoughtful. And at the end of our conversation, he asked me, Ms. Mel, what's your favorite animal? Hmm. And I think you all know what my favorite animal is, my favorite species, the primates. Oh, monkeys! <laughs> Let's shout it out, monkeys! <laughs> The monkeys are my favorite animals, so Brendan Wetzel drew Miss Mel, so a monkey. Oh, isn't that so super cool? Oh, he's very sweet and thoughtful. So let's look at his book today and see what he wrote in his book and how he drew his animals. Hello, hello. Can we all say that together? Let's read each other. Hello, hello. Because whether we meet anyone in our world, it all begins with what? Hello. Black and white animals. <gasps> what do we have here? Can we name all of our animals? We have a zebra. We have a panda, which we talked about in our guessing game yesterday. We have a bear, a cat. <gasps> Hello, color. Hello, bright. Wow, these are beautiful, bright colors. Can you see all the animals? Now, Brendan Wenzel, through his book today, of all the different animals we're going to see, majority of these are endangered animals. And you know what? we're going to see how awesome they are and just what we said yesterday how we can help them hello bright hello color oh we see birds who sees the fishies can you spot the fishies how many fishies are there one two good job oh wait a minute there's a third one I forgot a third one and a coral reef 
leaf. Oh my goodness, is that a sea dragon? It's a sea dragon. What? Oh, what else do we have? Hello, stripes. Oh, we have the tiger. Hello, stripes. Hello, spots. Oh, spots on fish, spots on leopards, and oh my goodness, jaguars, and hello, stripes on a tiger. Oh, hello, giant. What's our big giant voice? Can we do a big giant voice on the count of three? Let's say hello and wail. One, two, three. <laughs> hello, not big, small, very tiny, very super, super duper tiny. I'm so tiny. I'm using this nose tiny voice. Very, very, very tiny. Hello, tongue. Hello, ears. Where's your ears? How many? One, two. Hello, hands. One, two. Hello, nose. One. Look at that, that's so cool. All different kinds of shapes and sizes. Hello, patterns. Our tortoise yesterday had some patterns on their shell, remember? Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Can you see that? Oh. Hello, pose. Let's strike a pose. Ready on the count of three. Any pose you want. <laughs> Hello, shape. Wow, what cool shapes. Our toucan has. <gasps> Their beaks are really cool. Sometimes we can shape up a circle, a square, a triangle. Oh, look at these. Hello, show. Oh, what he means by that is all oh, some of these birds have beautiful plume plumage, which are the feathers like peacocks. They put their plumage out for everyone to see how beautiful they are. And look at that, some frogs, they go like this. And their big jaws at the end go well. <clears throat> Hello, wonder. Hello, whoa. Spikes from the porcupines! But they're still gorgeous and beautiful in their own way. Hello. Quiet. Shh. Can you hear those quiet ones? Shh. Okay, get ready. Hello, loud! <laughs> your wild dance. Uh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all about. Shake that sugar out, but not too much. Keep some of that sugar inside. Hello, proud. Mm. Mm. Wow, look at that. This little sea is adorable. And a swordfish. And butterflies. Hello, beauty. Oh my goodness, look at this. Beautiful owls. Hello, Bendy. Now, when we think of Bendy, who do we think of? We think of uh, an octopus. What? Do we think of an octopus? Do we think of different fish? And maybe different snails or crustaceans, which are shellfish. Hello, neighbor. He may be small, but we can get along. Hello, neighbor. Hello. Can you give a big hello again? Hello. Hello, friend. What? We may be different, but we are awesome friends. There's so many things we can learn about each other. They make us so super cool and unique in our own way. Hello, Roars. Ready? Let's hear your biggest roar on the count of three. One, two, three. King of the jungle. Roar! Hello, peeps. This is a peep with attitude. Ready? Beep, 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 Break it down. Beep, 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 beep. And now we got chirps. Chirp, 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 chirp. Let's hear some beeps. Hello, chance. Hello, song. And hello, dance. Let's do your best dance move on the count of three. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Dance it out. A world to see. Look at that beautiful world. 
There's so many amazing things in our world. So, so many animals, so many different types of flowers and trees. Blessed every day. So many things to see. A world for all of us to know. And it all begins, my loves, with a hello. So give your big friends, your new friends out there. If anyone wants to put in the comments too today, which I think would be also super awesome, not only your favorite animal, but put a hello, friends, to all of our new friends out there who are joining us every day. So awesome. You send a hello from your heart to everyone across our virtual world which is amazing. And they'll see that and that'll strike a little spark in their heart and give them a big smile for today. All right, my loves, here we go. Oh my goodness, how many of us enjoyed the hello, hello? Was that super awesome or what? Did we enjoy seeing all the animals? Now Miss Nell's gonna show you an extra, extra super cool thing in our animals today in the back of our book. And this is a note from our author. Now you can get this book through curbside pickup and you can have a fun time through picking this book up. We have it in our collection and a lot of Delaware County libraries have it in their collection too. So you can get this book through curbside pickup and I suggest you do because all the animals we saw today, they're listed in the back of this book. So all the amazing animals and you can get to learn more about these amazing animals because what did we say yesterday when we learn more about each other we find out so many cool things about each other and look he has another page where he draws the animals you saw and he numbers them and puts the numbers right by the animals so you get to learn more about them and look at how cool that is would anybody want that i would want that for my wallpaper for my room that's amazing all right, my loves, I hope you enjoy today. I, we enjoy every day we're with you, my loves. Mwah, sending you big hugs and smoochy woochies. Now, tomorrow, remember our links from yesterday, Miss Mel and Christina shared a YouTube video all about endangered animals, a really fun, kid-friendly one that can teach you all about because we said being a voice in our world is very important. Even though we're little, we're a big voice and big heart, and we can make a lot of change for the good in our world. And we put a link in there to, for you to get your crafts and a link from Kittle, which is an awesome site that you can look up different endangered species and find out some more facts about. So remember, in the comments today, put your favorite animal. Ms. Mel wants to hear from you. Christina and I both want to hear from you and what your favorite animal is. And if you want to put why, please do that. That would be super cool. Now, Miss Andy has her craft time tomorrow. What? Amazing craft time with Miss Andy at 1 o'clock. So remember to tune in for that right here on Facebook, our Facebook page of Marple Public Library. And don't forget our theme for next week's story time. What? Mythological creatures. Yes, I said it. Dragons, unicorns, amazing mythological creatures. What? Sea serpents. Oh my goodness. We are going to have a dragon story next week and a unicorn story next week. What? And you can dress up like your favorite unicorn, dragon. You can dress up as a unicorn scientist. You, you go for it. You let your imagination run wild, my loves. You can dress up like a sea serpent, a dragon. Miss Nell and Christine are going to dress up too. So have some fun. We're going to have some awesome fun with that next week. And I love our stories, extra stories for next week. So they're going to be super fun too. Now also, busy week next week, Monday. Remember, we have our Once Upon a True Story. And that's going to be a super awesome, our Once Upon a True Story, where we get to learn about different people in our world. And they inspire our dreams to live up to what we want to be one day, maybe. And you know what? That's super cool. They have a lot of inspiration and a lot of things we can find a lot of great heart in. So that's Once Upon a True Story on next Monday at 1030. And then we have our Miss Mel's Book Talk at 9 a.m. on Monday. So my loves, have a great weekend. Now remember... All the story times from this week and all of our awesome programs for this week are all in our video section of our Marble Library Facebook page. So if you want to check them out later, do that too. All right, my loves, remember, have a great weekend and stay cool as you always are, my loves. Stay cool. Love you all.